Hi everybody and welcome back. I'm Alan Lenzicki, your dry erase attorney. I'm an attorney in Lake County, Illinois, and I want to continue talking about uh, the offense of DUI here in Illinois. Uh, so we talked a little bit about uh, the uh, one aspect of a DUI charge that you may have received, which is dealing with the statutory summary suspension. But let's talk about the real meat and potatoes of it, the criminal case. So when you're looking at defending a criminal case for DUI, you, you need a lawyer. Some people want to do this themselves. It's a bad idea. If you don't have any money, if you're a person struggling financially, you can get a public defender to help you. Uh, otherwise, you're going to want to hire a private attorney. And as I've said before, uh, private attorneys here in Lake County, Illinois, at least in this market, usually have a fee between two and 5,000 bucks. Sometimes they'll add a trial fee. I'll call around or you certainly can call us and we're happy to talk to you for free. Anyway, um, but dealing with a criminal case uh, for DUI is serious. Um, if you're a first time offender, uh, you probably had never been in trouble before and it's a very frightening introduction into the criminal justice system. Welcome to the party. Anyway, um, but an attorney can do a couple of different things for you and as they defend your case for a statutory summary suspension, which we've addressed in a different video. But now we're talking about the criminal case. There's basically three ways that a DUI criminal case can be resolved. The first is by a hearing. So a hearing is not a trial. We'll talk about trials in a second. But if you have a hearing, you're motioning up the case to try to quash or suppress either the actual stop of the vehicle or stuff that happened that's evidence taken once the vehicle was stopped, okay? So that motion to suppress or motion to quash is something that an attorney would file for you and litigate on your behalf with you in court, okay? Uh, a hearing it can be really good because let's say uh, that you're driving and a police officer pulls you over without probable cause. And eh, there's a crummy car in my nice town, I'll pull him over. Hey, there's the member of a, a minority uh, that I want to pull over and harass. Doesn't happen all the time, but it certainly can. Um, if they pull you over without seeing a valid basis for the stop, so you're not speeding, you're not in an accident, you didn't run a red light, you're driving perfectly, well, there's no reason for a police officer to give you this unlawful search and seizure by, by stopping you. That's a seizure of your person that's delaying you from whatever errands you were running or places you were going. They're not allowed to do that. So if they pull you over uh, and without probable cause, an attorney can challenge that and beat your case in the hearing. Even if, bizarrely, and some people don't like this, even if you're drunk as a skunk. So if you get pulled over, you're not speeding, you're not breaking any laws, but you blow 0.12, so you're over 0.08, you can have your DUI beat at a hearing for a motion to suppress or a motion to quash, okay? Uh, the second way that a case can be resolved is in a trial. A trial is a lot like a hearing. It has a different burden, and we can talk about that, give us a call. But what the difference is that a trial, you're eligible for a jury. You can have a bench trial with the judge, but the judge or jury is going to find you guilty or not guilty. Uh, the lawyers will present evidence. Uh, witnesses will testify. You might testify. And at the end of the day, the question is, do the police and prosecution have enough evidence to prove you guilty beyond a reasonable doubt? Uh, do they have really clear video evidence? Um, sometimes people can be proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt because of just the video. If you're puking on the officer's shoes, but you fail all the fields, of, or but you don't do the field sobriety tests and you don't blow, well, a jury could infer, well, maybe she was drunk, okay? If you've got bad driving and don't do the field sobriety tests, if you stumble, if you don't produce your license on time, if you have all these different uh, uh, little ways the police officer can make a decision about, well, I'm going to arrest this person for DUI, the judge and jury may, may believe that, okay? Uh, but... Trials don't happen all the time. Very, very commonly, the way a case is resolved is by way of a plea. Let's talk about that. So a plea is an agreement between yourself and the prosecuting attorney about what to do with your case. And usually for a first time DUI offender, uh, the offer from the prosecuting attorney to resolve the case is something like court supervision, okay? Fines and court costs, uh, they'll do uh, treatment, uh, evaluation so you can get uh, alcohol counseling. I usually see a live victim impact uh, panel. Uh, that is a program put on at the College of Lake County here in Lake County, Illinois, where you go and you see the, the effects of drunk driving uh, and you try to, you know, they convey the emotional impact of this to you. It's a one afternoon program, a one evening program. You pay for it, you get a certificate at the end. 
Um, classes that you may have to do are usually in Lake County done through the use of a place called NICASA, okay, Northern Illinois Center Alcohol Substance Abuse. It's located out west in the western part of the county, and you would go there for an evaluation, and they basically label you. They'd say, well, minimal risk, oh, high risk. And that corresponds to amount of hours of treatment that you would then have to do. And that would be pursuant to a plea. Typical deal for a first timer in, in, in Lake County, maybe one year of court supervision, which as I've said in another video, is not a conviction on your record, it's good. Fines and court costs of maybe $1,000 plus court costs. We now call them assessments, but I'm old and when I was a prosecutor, we called them court costs. Uh, and the $1,000 fine plus the court costs, you might be three grand all day long, maybe a little bit less, okay? Um, the live victim impact panel, as I said, that's that program that you've got to see at CLC, uh, and then also your treatment, okay? So you get an evaluation, follow the treatment recommendations thereof. That's usually what happens to most first-time DUI drivers. Of course, if you're involved in a situation with worse facts, God forbid somebody's hurt in a car accident. Uh, let's say you didn't have a valid driver's license. Let's say that you had uh, no insurance. They could charge your uh, first-time DUI uh, as a more serious felony. We can talk about that in subsequent videos. Thanks a lot for watching. Like and subscribe.